a prospective study of fully covered metal stents for different types of refractory benign biliary strictures. Introduction. Benign biliary strictures, BBSs, have a wide variety of etiologies. Primary or secondary sclerosing cholangitis, chronic pancreatitis, post-cholecystectomy, post-liver transplantation, and hepaticojejunostomy anastomotic stricture, HJAS. Endoscopic treatment using balloon dilation and placement of multiple plastic stents has been established as a first-line treatment modality for BBS. This technique is especially suitable for BBSs located at the distal bile duct, such as those due to chronic pancreatitis and following deceased donor liver transplantation, DDLT, in which multiple stent placement can easily be performed via endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP. For patients with hilar BBSs, such as stricture following living donor liver transplantation, LDLT, and HJAS, however, technical issues should be addressed because the stricture is located at the level of the hepatic duct or more peripheral intrahepatic duct. In these situations, endoscopic multiple stenting is technically difficult owing to the small diameter of the bile duct and bifurcation near to the stricture. As a result, the rate of stricture resolution is not sufficiently high in these patients, and patients with refractory strictures require long durations of endoscopic, percutaneous, or even surgical treatment. Therefore, alternative strategies should be implemented to improve the clinical outcomes of patients with Hilar BBSs. Recently, a series of randomized controlled trials, RCTs, have reported the efficacy of a fully covered, self-expandable metal stent, FCSEMS for distal BBSs and have demonstrated comparable stricture resolution rates and shorter treatment duration compared with multiple plastic stents. FCSEMSs for Hilar BBSs may be a promising treatment option, but several issues are still to be resolved. First, as it is necessary to place a long stent across the papilla for Hilar stricture, stent migration should be addressed as a major complication. Second, a large bore stent placed in a small intrahepatic bile duct can cause bile duct injury or a de novo stricture. Above the papilla stenting is one of the choices to tackle these hurdles, but there is a concern about technical difficulty in stent removal. Furthermore, FCSEMS placement at the hilum can carry a risk of segmental cholangitis in the contralateral bile duct. To date, there has been a paucity of data on the feasibility and effectiveness of SCSEMSs for Hilar BBSs. Therefore, Sato et al. conducted a prospective trial to evaluate the feasibility and effectiveness of placement of an FCSEMS in patients with refractory BBSs, including those with Hilar stricture. The authors used an FCSEMS designed to be placed above the papilla, which has a lasso for stent removal and a central wasted structure to prevent stent migration. This is the first prospective trial evaluating an FCSEMS for Hilar BBS, including post-LDLT stricture and HJAS. In addition, the effectiveness of SCSEMS could be strengthened by including only refractory BBSs that are supposed to be resistant to conventional treatments, such as balloon dilation and plastic stent placement. Methods. Patients with BBSs that were unamenable to endoscopic plastic stent placement with a treatment period of more than six months were eligible, and FCSEMS was placed endoscopically and removed after 90 days. In patients with surgically altered anatomy, an FCSEMS was placed using a double balloon endoscope. The primary outcome was stricture resolution at FCSEMS removal. The secondary outcomes included stricture recurrence and adverse events. Results. A total of 30 patients were enrolled. The causes of their BBSs were anastomotic stricture after LDLT in 13, HJAS in 12, post-cholecystectomy in 2, chronic pancreatitis in 2, and post-hepatectomy in 1. The technical success rate of SEMS placement was 100%, and all FCSEMSs were successfully removed. The rate of stricture resolution at FCSEMS removal was 96.6%, 91.7% in the post-LDLT group, and 100% in the HJAS group. 
Stricter recurrence occurred in three HJAS patients, 10.7%, during a median follow-up period of 15.6 months. Adverse events were observed in 12.1%, five cholangitis, one pancreatitis, and one perforation. Conclusion. Temporary placement of an FC-SEMS was a feasible and effective treatment option for refractory BBSs, especially for post-LDLT strictures and HJAS.